we are going to talk about the treatment of sleep disturbances in patients with autism spectrum disorder, melatonin, and other strategies. We're going to start with talking about a case. E is a 13-year-old boy with autism spectrum disorder and moderate intellectual disability. He had excellent sleep with moderate dosage melatonin. He was home from school for a prolonged period and over the summertime got used to staying up late on his tablet, looking at preferred interests and preferred videos. After doing this for a period of a number of months, it is now taking him hours to fall asleep. And getting into the habit of waking mid-cycle to look at his tablet are such that he has now a pretty disrupted pattern of sustained sleep. It's a major concern when he wakes mid-cycle as he may wander the home and end up in unsafe situations while parents are sleeping. The treatment of sleep disturbance is also a common main concern for a lot of caregivers and parents of a patient with autism spectrum disorder or a chief complaint of an individual with autism spectrum disorder themselves. Melatonin has 13 control studies for the treatment of sleep disturbance in children with neurodevelopmental disorders. This amounts to 424 subjects in total. This is a well researched area. Parallel groups, crossover designs with dosages of 1 to 10 milligrams that have been studied. Melatonin is superior to placebo in all 13 of these trials, with the majority of these trials showing mild side effects, if any, and oftentimes not differing than placebo in terms of the presence of side effects, leading melatonin to be an easily recommendable medication in terms of effect, as well as tolerability for the treatment of sleep disturbance in children with neurodevelopmental disorders. There's been little in the way of other double-blind placebo-controlled trials of other medications for the treatment of sleep disturbance and autism spectrum disorder, so further guidance past melatonin is based more on clinical practice. My approach when it comes to the treatment of sleep disturbance includes starting with melatonin. Clinicians may consider the usage of clonidine or trazodone, especially in younger populations. Clonidine being a particularly effective choice for problems with sleep initiation and trazodone being a more effective treatment choice for patients who have disrupted sleep cycle or mid-cycle awakening. Bertazapine can be very effective as a treatment of sleep challenge. Clinicians should be careful for the risk for weight gain with this medication. In more severe cases, tricyclic antidepressants may be considered. Clinicians should watch for the potential risk for tricyclic antidepressants being harder to tolerate in children, particularly children with autism spectrum disorder, and watch for irritability and starting at low dosages and moving slowly with the dosing. Medications like diphenhydramine or even benzodiazepine medications should be used with caution in patients with autism spectrum disorder because of a risk for paradoxical response. This is to say, rather than being calmed by these medications, some children with autism spectrum disorder can become activated, more energized, or even agitated at higher dosages, silly, giddy, goofy, disinhibited, or even irritable with these medicines. Clinicians may therefore put them a little farther back in terms of when to consider these medications and discuss this possibility with parents before they initiate medication trials or with individuals with autism who can consent to treatment. A couple of key points to draw from this section. There are an abundance of blinded placebo-controlled trials for the usage of melatonin for the treatment of insomnia in autism spectrum disorder. These trials attest to the effectiveness of this medication and excellent tolerability. Diphenhydramine and benzodiazepines have been noted in clinical practice to carry higher risk for paradoxical reactions in patients' developmental disability, 